Where's Chulo? Where's Chulo? Chulo. Where's Chulo? <laughs> Who's a happy boy? He dances. He dances. He'll twirl. He'll do, a do a twirl. Up, 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 Chulo. Wee! Up, up, Chulo. Such a good boy. So happy. You're delicious. <laughs> what are you, a bunny? <laughs> You're silly now. Silly boy. Hi, handsome. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Such a good boy. <laughs> I thought I would do a little up. Here we go. Well, we were not connected to the internet. I apologize for that. Hi, Debbie. Hope you're staying warm. It's probably freezing where Debbie is. Debbie, what's the temperature where you are? All the way up there in New York. Hi, Hallie. Sorry, I had a little bit of internet. I wasn't connected. I am now. What you got? What you got? Chulo. Here. Look what I got. We're not, How are you not warm? It's beautiful here. We have little sweatshirts on. I don't know. What's it probably in the 70s? I would think, right? Yeah. Chulo. Hey. Chulo. Okay, stop licking the foot. You didn't do that once. Now they start the video. You licked your foot. <laughs> so, you, if you're any of you are wondering, maybe you know. Really bad. We have bad internet today. Look at those beautiful white teeth. 34 degrees. No, thank you. Rainy cold Texas. What's the temp in Texas right now? Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm going to keep going and hoping it's going to get better. So Chulo is the daddy of the puppies that we took in. And the mommy is a purebred Dalmatian. Just to update you, they will not surrender mommy. No way, no how. We've offered any which way we can. They will not surrender her. Actually, they gave her to uh, their, assist their sister, who has another Dalmatian, purebred. And they're going to be breeding her. How freaking lovely is that? So they're using mommy as a breeding machine. Um, just so grateful that we got the puppies and we got daddy, but still, I really wanted to get mommy out of there. They were all living outside on a slab of cement. <clears throat> they were definitely being fed. No question about that. We do have an appointment tomorrow for Chulo. Um, we're trying a new bed up here. He's going in to see Dr. Patty, and he's going to have blood work, vaccines, um, deworming. He's going to have a nail trim and a microchip. So that's going to be done tomorrow morning uh, at 10.30. We have an appointment. Just, there we go. I, I can't move. I'm not going to move. Is it clear, the video, or is it, I, I, from my end, it's clear? I don't know, you guys are all talking about the weather, so I don't know what's happening on, on your end. Um, for any of you that are watching, can you let me know if it's clear or not? How gorgeous is he? He is so handsome. He is such a good dog. He's so much fun. He hasn't had any accidents in the house. Um, one peepee -pee lift. He lifted his leg once when he first came in, but he's been amazing. He's so handsome. He's young, maybe two, 15 pounds, gorgeous, gorgeous coat, gorgeous personality, so much fun, so affectionate. Thanks for the clear, Cindy. Appreciate it. I did uh, a post just a few minutes ago. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but there's a little dog uh, named Tucker that is in the Miami-Dade shelter. I'll take it off. Put it on me for a second. Sorry. <laughs> Rough morning. Um, I posted a 
a photo, a still photo of a dog named Tucker. He's in a shopping cart at the shelter. Uh, there was a post that he needed help. He needed to get out of the shelter. So I really want to save that little guy today. Um, he really could use our help. I don't know what is medical. I don't know. I'm going to go closer to the house because it's, um, my connection is really bad right now. You just saw the post. So I'm asking everybody to please, uh, I'm scared for mommy too, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, right now I'm talking about the new dog that we want to pull and save today from the Miami-Dade shelter, Tucker. Uh, again, he looks like a little white, maybe a Shih Tzu Maltese mix. He looks like he's in pretty rough shape, neglected. I don't know what his medical is at this time and I won't know until we take him to the vet. So I would like to be prepared because as we know, when we bring in these dogs, you know, we always get these wonderful surprises of medical issues that are needed. Uh, we're trying to recover from a lot of uh, medical bills. I just, uh, our organization just covered Ducky. I did a post. Uh, he just had an eye inoculation. He had his eye removed. Um, he's okay. He's, 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 he made it through surgery. He's just uncomfortable. He's not wanting to eat, but mommy's taking really good care of him. Uh, when we rescued Ducky and his mommy came to meet him, um, you know, she didn't have the funds to medically cover any major medical, but we said, listen, you're so wonderful with him. He's an old little guy and he has eye issues. So we'll cover the cost of him if you will forever foster him as like a hospice. And she has been since I think July. And he's been going back and forth to Dr. Butts' office to the eye specialist. We've covered everything from his eye medications to his testing. Um, and sadly, he had glaucoma, which very painful, the pressure and very bad headaches. So their recommendation was to remove the eye, which is what we opted to do. And they did that yesterday morning at Dr. Butts' office. Um, and that bill was 1300 and change. We, I think we raised like 300 and change or close to that. So it's still a thousand dollars away to covering that, which we'll swallow. Um, on top of that, we have Albert is in Blue Pearl right now. He's not feeling well. So they're running tests on Albert and doing all kinds of uh, blood work and scoping and x-rays. So he's gonna be spending the day, possibly the night at Blue Pearl, that's Albert, with Dr. Cannon and Dr. Woolery while they monitor him on fluids. So that's gonna be another astronomical vet bill for our organization. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of letting you in on what's going on here. Plus we're taking Chulo to the vet tomorrow. He's going to have blood work. He's going to have vaccines, microchip, nail trim, um, deworming, and then we'll be setting him up for his neuter. And all the puppies, the seven puppies, are going in for blood work, microchip, deworming, vaccines. Um, and we're going to take care of all of that. Plus, we have to pay for all their spays and neuters. That's part of the organization's promise to any adopter. We cover that. So that's seven puppies that need um, all their medical needs taken care of. So again, I'm doing this video, first of all, to update you on Chulo. As you can see, he's doing wonderful. He's playing with his toys. He's playing fetch. Chulo, bring it here. Come here. Come. Chulo, bring it. Get the ball. He's full of life, full of love, loving life here. He's such a good boy. Um, our rooms are full, so he's in a big, massive round pen next to Bam Bam, Bambi, because Bambi's staying with us while his mommy went away. Jamie's picking him up tomorrow morning. He, I'm sure he's going to be very happy. He's having a lot of fun here uh, with his ball, but um, he's going home tomorrow. Annie went home yesterday. We still have Miley here. And again, the new baby. Uh, Tiffany's on her way to pick him up at the Miami-Dade shelter. From there, Carol's going to grab Tucker, the new dog we're pulling from Miami-Dade, and Carol will bring Tucker up here to Loxahatchee uh, later, later today, sometime after 5 p.m. So we need to be prepared for whatever medical that Tucker's going to need. So the donate button is on this video, and we could really use your help out by any kind of a donation whether you want to make it here or you'd like to donate on the still photo that I did of Tucker asking for help from our amazing village and supporters look at him we saved this boy from living a life outside 24 7 on a slab of cement Good boy. 
what? not allowed in a home. So that's a huge save right there along with the seven puppies. As much as we would die and love to be able to get mommy, the Dalmatian of the puppies out of there, um, it's not an option. You have to remember animals are considered property in the state of Florida and they're not doing anything wrong. It's not mandatory spay and neuter by law, so they can do whatever they want. They can breed her, she can have babies, they can do whatever they want. Um, so with all that being said, we can offer and beg until the cows come in, but unless they want to accept our offer and our help, we're just grateful and lucky that we were able to get daddy here, Chulo. Um, he's young and he can have an amazing life. He's two years of age. He's perfect in every single way. He's delicious. He's fun. He's loving. He's sweet. Definitely dog friendly. You saw him romping around with one of the puppies when he was brought here by our wonderful foster Bob that took the trip to bring him here to us. Nina and Christine and Bob who do our fostering for the puppies can only take puppies. Uh, their personal dogs will not accept anything other than puppies. They can't even take a mommy and puppies only puppies so that makes it a little challenging but they have done so much for this organization they're almost at 500 puppies that they have fostered so we are so grateful to them and that's why we say of course we'll take daddy bring him up and bob drove him up to us um and he they have the seven beautiful puppies at their home in parkland get some water I also did a, a, a great video of Miley the other day and showing you how well she's doing and how she's coming around and she was with Keith and you saw everybody was like, oh my God, Keith is the whisperer and she loves him. Can't Keith keep her? No, 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 Keith cannot keep anything. They have princess, um, they cannot keep any dogs. So I, as much as that would be amazing, that's not happening, so please. It kind of takes, I get where you're coming from and I see uh, that's a, a wish, that would be a dream come true but it's not reality. So by stating that over and over again on the video, uh, I don't want to cause any confusion when I do these dogs for, when I post these dogs for adoption, um, I don't, you know, for our supporters to say, oh, just keep the dog, keep the dog. Guys, we can't keep the dogs. We have to rescue, revive, and rehome. We have a limit. And if we keep dogs, then we can't save any more lives. So it has to go and be an ongoing process of saving reviving and rehoming and getting them the best homes possible. Otherwise, could you imagine if we kept all the dogs that we fall in love with every single day? It would be insane. We would not be in existence. Uh, <laughs> so little Chulo here is doing, as you can see, he is adjusting great. He is a very happy, energetic loving sweet boy he's eating great he's peeing he's pooping great um we're, we're having a lot of fun with him can't wait to find him his forever family forever home he's just an all the way all around fantastic boy fantastic and he's going to have a wonderful wonderful life no more living outside He's going to be allowed to be in a home, jumping on a couch, cuddling with his person, watching some TV, watching a football game with his person, and being treated as he deserves, going for walks. That's what he deserves, not living outside, starving for love and attention and affection. As far as breed goes, really don't know. Definitely Terrier. His coat is gorgeous. Um, we were trying to describe it. It's like that golden, it's like every blonde's dream when they say I want highlights. This is the color you would probably want. Uh, he's about 15 pounds. And he is, he's strong. He's, he appears to be extremely healthy. He's just perfect. He walks great on a leash. We test. Oh, you got it to squeak. He's he has strong teeth. Look at him. Good boy. Wow, that's the first time. That's the first time I heard that ball squeak. He has such a strong bite. You like the squeakers. He's been playing ball. He's been fetching. He's been bringing it back to us. He's only been here since what? Sat? Is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. 
When you came back, today's Tuesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's day four. It seems like so much longer. It does, I know. So tomorrow's his appointment. We'll keep you posted on that. And uh, the last batch of puppies that um, we took in, that Christine Foster, Joy, Jingle, um, the whole batch of puppies that were all adopted. Remember, there was a mom, and the owner of the mom that surrendered all those puppies to us, we had promised we are going to cover her vaccines along with one of the puppies, a female that he kept, with the mom. So they went to the vet. We covered the cost of all the vaccines and deworming and blood work. They will be getting uh, spayed, and we are covering the cost of both of those dogs to be spayed so that there will be no more reproduction on that end of that mommy and litter of puppies. So there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that you may not remember or know about just to keep you all updated. That's why I do these live feeds so that you are aware, um, and I can do catch-up and keep you posted on everything that's going on with our organization. Transparency is, is key. Never have to wonder where one of our dogs are. That, that's a definite given. You know everything, sometimes too much. <laughs> Chulo, you're very obsessed with that big nerf. Yeah, he's very busy. Look at him, Keith. He's having, a, he's having his own party. And he got it to squeak. Chulo, what's this? Chulo, here. Oh, no, he loves that nerf. Oh, that's the good one. Get it, Chu. I'm not pulling that away from you. You're too obsessed. I don't know if he's ever had a toy before, to be quite honest with you. Thanks for the clear, Diane, from Washington. Are you tired yet, Choo Choo? Chulo. Nope. That's why when I do videos, I don't like toys in the mix. Because <laughs> I can't, I can't, that, what? What are you doing? Can I have it? Give me that. Chulo. Bye, Chu. Bye. Bye-bye. Come on, bring it. Come on, Chulo. Chulo, bring your ball. <laughs> he is all over the place. It's Wilbur, just enjoying the beautiful day. He just had a snack. See, all of his bowls lined up. That's where all his snacks, breakfast, lunch. Living the life. Hi, Wilbs. Hi, Wilbers. He's rooting away like being a pig as a pig should be. Wilbers, come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. I miss your face. Where's my handsome piggy? I know you guys have been asking about him, so I thought I would climb over the fence a little bit and let you see. Wilbur's, come say hi to mamas. Where's my Wilbur's? Hi, boo. What are you doing? You rooting? You loving it? Is it a beautiful day? Is that my beautiful, handsome boy? Wilbur, you look great. Are you talking to me? Wilbur, come say hi. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Say hi, Wilbur's. Say hi, Mama. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, Wilbur, talk to me. Will be all your bowls are empty. You think you had an look at all the bowls, Shelly. I love it. I, I know. We've got a collection going on here. Good job, Wilbur's. Handsomest boy. Who's my handsomest boy? Will be. Up here. Hey, Will. 
Will bees. Hi. What are you doing? Can you talk? Tell me story, Wilbers. Tell me story. He does look great. He eats better than all of us. Definitely eats healthy, that's for sure. Where are Miley? Huh? Oh, he's in heaven. Who are you getting? Uh, Prinny? Good. I'm going to see Prinny and Vaughn are coming out. <coughs> Hi, Vaughn. Hi, handsome. Hi, Prinny. Prinny. Prinny, where's the woo woo? There's our beautiful, that's Shelly Key's princess, our 100 plus beautiful princess. Oh, the carrot. Vaughn, what you doing? Hunting? Hi, Mama. It's hunting time. Do your downward doggies. Vaughn, are you stretching? It's so beautiful out today. Oh, the sun is shining. It's so beautiful. Hey, Joanne from the UK. Hi, yeah. Prinnies. Hi, Mama. Where's Vaughn? Oh, he's hunting lizards. We got photos. Vaughn, come here. Come here. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, handsome. How's my boy? How's my boy? Mwah. Delicious, delicious, delicious. <laughs> I got your boyfriend. I got your boyfriend. I go get him, Pranny. I go get your boyfriend, Pranny, Pranny. <laughs> you smell chulo? Oh, Vaughn, you smell chulos. A little Miley. Mamais. Good drinks, princess. Yep, best couple award you get, yeah, Susan Asowich. You know it, Susan. The love between these two is like I've never seen before, honestly. The love affair. Where's Pranny? Pranny? Hi. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby girl. Go get your boyfriend. Where you go, Mama? Where that boy go? They take naps together. They cuddle. They sleep together. They play hard together. She rides him all the time. Licks his ears off. Chews his face off. They have such a beautiful bond together. And Prinny's not, um, has never been a dog friendly dog. Very, very alpha, very selective. And when the two of them met, it was like magic. It was un it's unbelievable to see them together when they get going. What a gorgeous day, huh? Oh. Go on, Prinny, do the rolls. Rolly polies. Vaughn, come. Vaughn. Vaughn. Everybody's just doing their thing. So again, uh, Tiffany's on her way picking up Tucker from the Miami-Dade shelter, a little dog that was posted on our page in a shopping cart. And Carol will be picking Tucker up from Broward Rescue House and bringing 
Tucker up here to Loxahatchee this evening. So I'll do a video um, once he gets here. Oh, stay away from there, Vaughn. <clears throat> Come on, Brittany, get it. You tell him. Come on. <laughs> woo woo, Prinny. Woo woo. Oh boy, Prinny. He got it. That's it. Game over. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Here we go. We. It's like it's mine. It's, <laughs> it's mine. So did you see that Shelly threw the toy for Vaughn and she went right after it and he let it, he drops it for her. Go get it. Pretty, bring it here. Come on, bring the baby. Come on. Nope. <laughs> She's like, I'm just gonna lay here. She won't eat it, will she, Shell? No, no. She doesn't eat anything. Okay. What you got, Mama? Is that your new toy? Huh? Is that your baby? Let me sit with you. Hi. Hi. Hey, beautiful. That's your toy. Yeah, you stole it from Vaughn? Did you steal Vaughn's toy? That's okay. Because you are the princess. You get to have whatever it is that you want. Prinny's 13, going to 13. Where's the. T oh, I sit and you get up and you're going to leave me here? Here, Prin. Pretty, pretty, get it. Nope, she's done with it. If Vaughn doesn't want it, I don't want it. Yep. Pretty belongs to Shelly and Keith. That's, that's how we all met. That's her, their personal dog. That's how all this came about. Right, Prin Prin? Prinny was with our organization for like five years before. Oh, she was let down over and over and over again before she found her forever mommy, Shelly and Keith and Daddy. Now she's the princess. She was always our princess, but she's the real princess that she's always deserved to be. You just relax, Mama. You just relax. Good boy, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn has the ball, Prinny. Uh oh, you see him? Vaughn, can I have? Don't eat it. Give me. Drop it. Ready? Ready? Go get. Good boy. Bring it back. Give me. Give me it. Nope. Keep away. Keep away. <clears throat> oh, he's such a good boy. Such an amazing dog. He is the best. Best boy ever. Oh. See? It's mine. You have the ball. She has the toy. Play tug of war. She's like, play with me, Vaughn. Grab it. Vaughn, grab it. She stuck it right in his mouth. <laughs> Look at her. She's like putting it. She was putting it right in his mouth. Get it, Vaughn. Get it, Vaughn. Oh, here's the ball. Head. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, Vaughn, go slow. She can't do it that fast. Vaughn. Prinny, what happened? She wants you to play. Oh, she is alpha. She wants you to play but that. sweet, loving alpha. Vaughn. All right, guys. So I wanted to just update you um, on Chulo. 
Say hi from Prinny and Vaughn. You got to see Wilbur's. <clears throat> And again, please make a, a donation. Any amount will be so gratefully appreciate, appreciated and helpful for rescuing our uh, new dog, Tucker, that is at the Miami-Dade shelter. Annie is living the dream. They sent us a video when Annie the Golden went home yesterday after they had a trip planned. We were babysitting, uh, dog sitting for a week and uh, she's a dream but definitely missed her family. And it was a beautiful video. It was very, very choppy and uh, not clear. So that's why I didn't share it. Uh, but they were very, very, very happy. They were so happy to see each other. Uh, Annie and her brother, Teddy, previously adopted by the same wonderful family, our 100 plus dog, Teddy. So it's beautiful. It's just so beautiful all the way around. Again, we'll keep you posted on the new dog that's coming in, Tucker. Please make a contribution towards Tucker. And um, we'll keep you posted on Chulo and his vet appointment, which is tomorrow morning. Happy Tuesday. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.